Hello everyone. Today we're going to explore the differences between two common types of influenza viruses, influenza A and influenza B. Let's get started. Influenza is more commonly known as the flu. Let's talk about how it spread. Influenza A is commonly found in humans and animals, while influenza B mainly affects humans. Both flu viruses are highly contagious and can spread through respiratory droplets. Both flu viruses can cause seasonal epidemics, but influenza A viruses are the only ones that can cause a pandemic, which is a global spread of disease. That's because influenza A viruses can mutate or change more rapidly than influenza B viruses. Both strains can cause similar symptoms, including fever, cough, sore throat, body aches, and fatigue. However, influenza A often leads to more severe illness in adults and can result in complications, especially in people at greater risk of getting seriously sick. Most adults have built up immunity against influenza B. Because the two viruses are different, it's possible to be infected with both flu A and flu B at the same time. It's important to note, though, that influenza B symptoms can be severe in children. Children under age 5 are at a higher risk of serious flu complications. Children under 2 are at the highest risk for serious complications. Vaccination is your best protection against both strains of the flu. All modern flu vaccines are quadrivalent, meaning they provide protection against four types of flu, two types of influenza A and two types of influenza B. It's important to get a flu shot every year because strains of the flu mutate over time. Getting a shot each year gives your body immunity to the latest strains of the influenza virus. Lastly, let's discuss treatment. Antiviral medications can be prescribed to treat both influenza A and influenza B, but they are most effective when taken within the first 48 hours of when symptoms start. It's essential to seek medical advice if you suspect you have the flu. While flu A and flu B have different characteristics, spread patterns, and potential impacts, it's important to stay informed, practice good hygiene, and get vaccinated to protect yourself and those around you.